Bethesda Community Church. A place of hope, a place of healing, a place for you. 647-6109. Of course, area code 859-647-6109. Sunday Bible study at 930. Sunday worship, 1040. Wednesday service, 630. And don't forget the ladies Bible study class at 630 on Monday nights. You ladies join us here at Bethesda Community Church with Miss June Guyman Stevenson teaching a Bethmore Bible study class on Esther. You're welcome. Right here on Sigmund Lane on 536 Mount Zion Road. Right before you get to the Boone County line. Hopefully today we'll have Tim Frymuth back as our pastor from his sabbatical leave and I know he's been fighting a kidney stone too so we hope he's going to be here today to preach if not we'll have a fine minister there to preach to us today but hopefully Tim Frymuth will be there today beautiful little church in front of the lake right here at Bethesda Community Church Always be careful at the entrance here, because the traffic flies over the hill pretty fast. Little church nestled in the side of the hillside, the little lake in front of it. Great place to worship. Come on out and join us, folks. It's easy to get to, easy to find, and easy to listen to. Great gospel singing and uh, love and fellowship, and the great ministers of the Word of the Lord. Brother Tim Firemuth, Pastor Tim Firemuth, Pastor Fightmaster, Greg Fightmaster, and uh, Herb Valentine, Pastor Herb Valentine. I tell you what, we've got a slew of pastors here that can spread the word of the Lord. Bethesda Community Church. Established 2005, April the 14th. Today, I choose to worship. Travels with the Stevensons, John Stevenson here, June Guyman Stevenson. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition of godly principles. Bethesda Community Church. Amen. vacation time, uh, but he has a uh, urinary tract infection we found out yesterday. He was in the ER yesterday um, with some issues, so he is not going to be here this morning. Judy is not here. She has bronchitis, so um, they are taking another Sunday yet off, and they need that, so be remembering them, pray for them. Les Moses is also sick this morning, and we can go around with a lot of different ones that are out because of illness and sickness. So uh, be praying for each other. Just kind of look around and see who's not here. Uh, and just lift them up in prayer if you would this morning, all right? Um, things we need to announce. Uh, how many Easter baskets or buckets did we do? Was it 40 of them? We did 40. And uh, Pete Brown picked them up. The resource lady picked them up on Monday. And they're right here. I threw them for her on that thing. Oh, she got them anyway, right? She got them, yeah. <laughs> It was good. Thank you all for help getting that together and putting all that together for us. Youth camp is coming on real quick for us. Uh, you can begin registering. The information is in the bulletin there. Make sure you grab that. Ladies retreat is right around the corner as well. Uh, make sure that you get that information. Uh, our men from South Carolina, our families from South Carolina are coming. That's really quick as well. Be praying about that. Um, I did meet with planning and zoning, and it went better than what I thought. We do not have to have an architect stamp drawn, so that's going to save us about $4,000. Amen. Uh, so we can do that with some other things we're going to be working through. So uh, be praying. Continue to pray that God will work through all the details uh, in getting that together for the remodeling of our basement, finishing of our basement. 
Any other announcements or anything else that I need to make mention of? Cantata practice tonight at 6 o'clock, is that right? Next Sunday, the, the choir is going to be presenting the cantata during our worship service for Easter next week. So be praying about that as well. Monday night is still the uh, Bible study uh, at 6.30. Anything else? Let's open with a word of prayer this morning. Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you for allowing us to come into your house and into your presence to worship you this morning, Father. It is such a blessing and such an honor. Sometimes, Father, we just take it for granted that we're just going to church. But Lord, it's more than that because we're coming into your presence. Yes. We're coming to where you are to worship you, to exalt you, just to lift up your holy name, Father, and to be drawn closer unto you. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Lord, that's what we want to do today, is lift up the holy name of Jesus, Father. Lord, would you send your Holy Spirit to be amongst us this morning, to move, to worship in us and through us, Father, that we might worship in spirit and in truth this morning, Father. Again, bless those who are not able to be here with us this morning. Bless those who are here and just speak through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 To come forward and receive our tithes and offerings this morning, gentlemen, if you'll come, whoever, wherever that you are. <laughs> I love that. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this time that we have to come together, Lord. And, uh, Lord, there's uh, so many that are ill, and, and, and uh, it's going to have uh, possibly operations and, and all kinds of things, Lord. Uh, be with them, Lord, and help them, Lord. And be with Brother Greg, I bring us the message this morning that, uh, that uh, you put the words in his mouth. <coughs> it will uh, change people's lives. Lord, bless this money that it may be uh, spread over more than we could ever, we could ever imagine. For these things, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
someone this morning. Welcome you, Miss June. <laughs> Me too, me too. Love you, love you, love you. <laughs> Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition to God the principal. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'd like to lift up Gail and Jan Hammond. I think some people might know who they are. They operate uh, Tri-State Gospel, and they're very dear friends of ours, and they both t are facing some serious health problems right now, and they just need to be lifted in prayer. Um, our friend Mark who was here last week and we gave the blanket to mm -hmm. he finds out he had biopsy Thursday so he finds out Wednesday of his cancer and all of that 
He is trying so hard to be very positive and everything, but the pain is so strong at times that it just really overwhelms him. And uh, Patty said that he's starting to get a little edgy, of course, you know, because he's afraid he's not going to be able to work, and that's really bothering him. All right. Anything else? One of my veteran friends that um, I help a little bit uh, is in the VA hospital, and he's been in and out of the emergency room in the last two months. Uh, he worked for three years, never missed a day's work, and uh, then the COPD and some other things got to him, and he's just really, really short of breath, and so not oxygen over there. So keeping him in your prayers and, and keeping your prayers and finding him a particular place to live, too because where he's at is filled with mild and mild, or mold. mold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else? church to be able to take care of the kids for you and I thank God for you all because that is I know you all need a break every now and then and Donna needs a break every now and then and you don't find that in many churches where somebody will just pop up and say hey let me help take care of the kids for you and I, I think we've got a good support system in many ways awesome I was going to say that but I don't want to jump in and steal your thunder but you guys are my family, you know? And when there's a need, you guys are there. I just, I am so blessed. I don't, just don't believe that. For those of you who know, Donna wants our two little ones, so we can go to the concert down at the Tim Hawkins down on Friday night. Pearl watched Joel Friday Yeah, so, so we must watch the kids. Donna <laughs> just came over baby <laughs> and me while I babysat them. Yeah, that's good. That's <laughs> all right. good. It's all good. Anything else? I want to get on this mix. Who's taking Ella? <laughs>
Go ahead, Marcel. I'll be facing some new children in your house now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are house sitting, aren't you? Yeah. Because I'm house sitting and Marcel is sitting. So there you go, there you go. Did you all say Bobby's babysitting Marcel? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lord, it's just great to be in your house this morning, to give you thanks, to give you praise. But we also ask you to be with our friends, our family, co-workers. So many are sick, Lord, and suffering from many, from many diseases, and we just ask that you would just bless each and every one from doctors touching hands and medicine to cure all. And many of our churches are traveling. We ask for protection for each and every one. And a lot of them are sick, Lord. We just pray that uh, that the medicine that uh, each one is taking, Lord, that the medicine would uh, heal each and every one. And we just pray a uh, blessing upon Brother Greg as he brings your word. And just uh, how awesome it is to be in your house. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's have all the youngins come forward if you would for a minute. Get y'all up here. All you youngins? Good. All right, you're ready. Right? Yeah. Sunday is? What no. we're going to celebrate next Sunday? Easter. Easter Sunday, right? I know. You know what Easter's about? Uh huh. When Jesus rose from the tomb, from the grave, right? To celebrate Amen. that? This week, we're celebrating something. You know what this week would be called? It's called Passover, or excuse me, Palm Sunday. It's called Palm Sunday. Sunday. You ever heard of that? No. Well, let me tell you a story. You know what these things are? We. 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 Yeah, everybody's gonna get one. You might get two because there's so many of so many of these. So let's hand these around. Right behind you, hand, hand this to the girls. Behind you. Yeah, there you go. Behind you. And don't punch nobody with them. We don't want to do that. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble now. I can see it coming now. I'm in trouble. Everybody gets two because you got two hands, right? There you go. All right, there you go. You got two. There's two there. Everybody got two? Joel, you got two? I got two. You got two? I got more than two. That's all right. All right. So hold them still. Hold them, hold them down for a minute. We'll hold them up in just a minute, but hold them down, okay? Let me tell you the story. About Jesus, when he came back to Jerusalem, he rode in on a donkey, okay? Um, his disciples didn't want him to come back to Jerusalem because they felt like that he was going to be be killed, and that's what he was supposed to have been about, okay? But listen to the story, all right? Hey, I got you that one. Really? Yeah. All right, listen to this, okay? And Luke 19, <clears throat> let me read the story. Put your palms down. We're going to raise them in just a minute, okay? After he said these things, he was going ahead up to Jerusalem. When he approached Bethany, and Bethany near the mount that's called Olivet, he sent his disciples ahead and said, go to the village. Um, there you'll find a donkey, a colt of a donkey, tied. And, and when you find it, untie it and bring it here, okay? If anybody asks you why you're doing it, say, the Lord has need of it. Uh, so they sent away, they found the donkey, brought it back to Jesus. And what they did was they put Jesus on the donkey, and he rode into town. Have you ever been to a parade? Yeah. Uh, what happens in a parade? Everybody's marching in a parade and everybody's cheering. Keep your palm waves down for just a minute, okay? So... Jesus comes riding in on this donkey, and everybody says, well, the king is coming, because they thought that he was going to be their king. They started having a big parade. They lined the streets. They cut down branches off the trees and started putting them in the way for Jesus to walk in on. Now, don't put yours down. I'm going to put mine down. So they made a way for him, and just like rolling out the red carpet kind of a thing. You've heard that before. When somebody important comes, they were taking their outer robes off and laying them down. And then they took palm branches, and they waved them in the air. 
and they waved them in the air. Now you can wave your palm branches. And they were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna to the king. Here he comes. Our king's coming. And they were celebrating. Can you celebrate? Sing Hosanna real loud. Hosanna, yeah, Hosanna yeah, to the king. The yeah. king's coming. Yeah, yeah. Oh. king's coming. It's great. It's awesome. So that's why we call it Palm Sunday, because they cut palm branches down, and they laid them in the way, and they were, they were waving them and having a good time with it, okay? But let me tell you something. In the middle of the week, that all changed. Because they, they had Jesus arrested, and they were yelling, crucify him, crucify him, okay? Because he wasn't the kind of king they were looking for. They were looking for like an earthly king to solve all their problems and take care of everything else. But his kingdom wasn't of this world. His kingdom is, was in heaven, right? Okay? So when you see trees moving in the wind, when the wind blows, and then you're out there picking up leaves and, and, and all the things helping out, and you see palm branches... Think of Palm Sunday. It's the Sunday before Easter when Jesus rode back into Jerusalem, okay? And they were crying, Hosanna, and waving the palm branches, all right? Hosanna. Hosanna, that's right. Hosanna. Glory to the king. The king has come. Do it again. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna. that's right. Hosanna. Okay, all right. Okay, don't hit each other. All right. Now, lay them back up here for me, all right? Put them right up here in the front. There we go. Very good. So today is Palm Sunday. If anybody asks you what's special about today, you tell them today is Palm Sunday, okay? All right, let's pray. All right, you ready? Let's have a word of prayer. Close your eyes. We're going to pray. Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you. For these little ones, Father, that you've blessed us with. Father, for their love and for their energy, Father, for their heart. We ask that you would bless them and strengthen them. Help them to realize what today really is about. About Jesus coming into town to be a part of their life, to die on that cross. Thank you, Father, for your love and for your mercy and your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Jesus, I know all the Bible tells me so. Little one.